How to survive a nuclear fallout, experts reveal the basics of living in a world riddled with radiation and the simple way to tell if you've been exposed. In Fallout 4, the only surviving members of the human race are in vaults. American Chemical Society tests challenges of living in such a shelter. Video explains how to produce power, water, and food in a real fallout. Separate research reveals a simple trick to tell if you're in the radiation zone and where to flee to if you don't have a nuclear bunker. Set in a post-nuclear apocalyptic world, Fallout 4 is one of the biggest and most hotly anticipated games of the year. But could humans really survive a nuclear fallout and live for decades in shelters? Experts from the American Chemical Society have released a video explaining the basics of survival in a world riddled with radiation and it is even harder than fiction would have us believe. The plot of the game, released earlier this week, centers around a devastating nuclear war with the only surviving members of the human race being those who retreated to a shelter, or vaults. The video explains that in order to protect themselves, people need to be exposed to the alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays from the ionizing radiation for the least amount of time possible. In particular, the key to survival is threefold, time, distance, and shelter. This means people would need to be as far away as possible from a nuclear blast, with the most shielding possible. Dr. Rachel Burks, a chemistry expert, explained, since digging 200 feet underground isn't going to work everywhere what can we do to protect ourselves from the fallout? Walls of carbon nanotubes are promising candidates. Current research suggests that carbon nanotubes provide protection from radiation and ounce for ounce are at least a hundred times stronger than steel. But long-term life in the vaults would require more than just thick walls. It would also require power, water and food. Fossil fuels take up too much room and would not last long and solar power is not an option when buried 200 feet, 61 meters, underground in a doomsday vault. Surviving the effects of a nuclear explosion depend on factors including the device and bomb size, where it was detonated, the nature of the target and weather conditions. But with each factor of 7 increase in time, 1 hour, 7 hours, 49 hours etc., the radiation is reduced by a factor of 10. To see if you are at risk, when you see a mushroom cloud, hold your arm out and shut one eye and raise your thumb. If the cloud is bigger than your thumb you are in the radiation zone and need to evacuate. Daniel Salisbury from King's College London advises that, following the fallout people should evacuating the area and flee as far as possible from military installations, high population areas and centres of industry. The chosen spot should offer shelter and amenities, ideally in the form of buildings in a small village, but failing that he said seek out natural shelters such as caves. After the initial explosion, the biggest risk to a person's health is radiation found in debris lifted into the fireball during the explosion, as well as the residues of the weapon itself. This can travel hundreds of miles so in the aftermath of an attack, even from a significant distance, so Mr Salisbury recommends remaining inside for up to two weeks. Resources are likely to be scarce in the aftermath of an attack so he said it is important to be prepared by stocking up items such as tinned food, bottled water, blankets, sheets and layers of warm clothing. If you are exposed, the symptoms will appear within a week and include dizziness, disorientation, weakness, fatigue, hair loss, bloody vomit and stools, poor wound healing, and low blood pressure. After this time, death is likely. In a separate piece of research, Daniel Salisbury at King's College London compiled everything you need to know about a nuclear attack and how to survive it. The research was commissioned by Fallout 4's game studio Bethesda Softworks. 
Mr. Salisbury, from the Center for Science and Security Studies, explained that surviving the effects of a nuclear explosion depend on factors including the device and bomb size, where it was detonated, the nature of the target and weather conditions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.